talk about the challenges that we face when we're building a virtual machine for uh, a blockchain, we want to run smart contracts. A lot of you know we want to have a bunch of contract security tools. We want to be able to audit them, we want to do some static checking, model checking, uh, formal verification, testing, and so on. Uh, usually these are built as separate tools. And we also want to have like clear consensus of what we're building, what is the exact behavior of this virtual machine. So we want to have like a trusted runtime, we want to have good documentation so implementers know what they're building. We want it to be perfectly unambiguous. Uh, we just want to make sure we can avoid consensus bugs. And again, these are all things that people tend to work on separately. Someone's writing the documentation, someone is formalizing the EVM, like the yellow paper and so on. So I want to pitch another approach, uh, which is what we applied in the K framework, which is this idea that you can kill n birds with K stones. Uh, basically, the idea is that you specify your language once and you derive the tools. That might sound like magic, but it's sort of what you're doing with a parser. You're not sitting down to write a parser in C most of the time. You're probably writing a grammar and a tool is going to generate a parser for you. We take that same approach with languages to the next level. Uh, where you specify your language in formalism, mathematically, uh, kind of, you can think of it as math, you can think of it as programming, and from there we can generate parsers, interpreters, uh, program verifiers, uh, and we're working on a bunch of tools like model checkers and so on. But the idea is like you specify your language once and then you get all the tools. Uh, I'd argue that it's, it's ambitious, like, let's derive all the tools from one specification, but it's also realistic. Runtime verification is doing this and we've been doing it for quite a few years. We're, I'd say it's pretty successful with it. So it's not, it's not paperwork. Uh, it's ambitious, but it's realistic. So one example you might have heard of is the KVM. Um, it's a formal specification of the EVM in the K framework. Um, so it's formal like the yellow paper. It's not the exact same formalism, but still. Uh, it's executable, so it's if you could actually execute the yellow paper. So you can run it uh, as a node, basically. And it reads like code with a lot of documentation because we've opted for uh, a literate programming style where you have a bunch of documentation and then a little formalism. Um, a lot of nice tools we generate from this is uh, a tool we're working on called Firefly, which is sort of a Truffle integration to build a lot, bunch of dev tools right into Truffle. Um, we generate docs like the Jello paper is some, I'd argue, uh, easier formal specification to read than the yellow paper. Uh, we do verification, so we have a bunch of verified smart contracts, and we're building more cool stuff all the time. And I'm working on KWASM, which is just a formalization of WebAssembly in the K framework. Uh, right now, it's mostly a spec of pure WebAssembly, uh, very similar to the official spec, which is nice because they, cho they chose the same formalism as we've been using for a while. So it's a testament to it. it's a good formalism. It's called rewriting, rewriting logic or rewriting this. It's easy to add embeddings. We have a prototype embedding for eWASM, even though that's not in the final state. We building prototypes. We're working with uh, Polkadot and Substrate uh, to ramp up our verification abilities to do formal verification on WebAssembly code. Uh, and because K is so awesome, most EDM tools, uh, the KVM tools will become EWASM awesome tools, <coughs> take some massaging. Uh, but the idea is like, we're doing EWASM awesome now and when EWASM awesome kicks in, we're ready to go. And if it doesn't kick in, we're ready to do any other sort of <laughs> WebAssembly. Uh, work. And that's what we're doing in some right okay. Here's a slide one photograph if you want to stay up to date on this. Um, talk to me after. Thanks.